Hey guys, what's up? Serena here from thriftdiving.com. So today we are stenciling my powder room. This is a room that we pretty much have been hands off since we moved into this house. And so I love the look of wallpaper, but I hate wallpaper. So today I'm gonna to show you how I'm stenciling the top part of my wall. I'm gonna put a chair rail or just a little, you know, piece of wood to kind of break it up. And then we're gonna do the bottom white. So stick with me because I'm gonna show you how to do that and get the look of wallpaper without wallpaper, just stencils. Stick with me. Okay, so the stencil that we're gonna use today is by Royal Design Studio. It's the Mansion House Grill Small Wall Stencil. This thing is beautiful, guys. I love this stencil. So let's get started by just removing a few things that are in here. We're gonna take the mirror down, take these pictures down, wipe the walls down with simple green, something that's gonna be, you know, helping the paint to adhere. I'm excited, this is gonna be so awesome. So now that we've got our paint in there, we can start loading some of the paint. You just wanna be careful that you don't put too much paint on the roller, otherwise it's gonna seep underneath of the stencil and it's gonna look sloppy. This is gonna be challenging, I can see it now. This is scary, very scary. All right, this is the moment of truth. Let's see how the first stencil went. There is a little bit of seeping underneath of the stencil, and I think it's just because I'm using a roller. Um, but I'm gonna go through afterwards and I'll just kind of clean it up with a little paintbrush. All these stencils come with little places where you're supposed to line them up. Now I'm gonna run into the wall here, the other wall, because the stencil is too big. So I'm just gonna be very careful and just try to tape this. I just want to point out that you're going to have to take your stencil and you're going to have to wash it several times while you're working on your stencil. Because what's going to happen is that after the paint starts to dry on here, it's going to start to peel off and get really gunky. So you want to take your stencil, wash it out in a bathtub, take a fine scrub brush and just gently remove the paint so you can keep going. All right guys, so I tried to do the inside corners and I am struggling. So I've decided instead of trying to paint the inside corners, I'm going to trace it with a pencil. And then after I trace it, I'll go back with a small paintbrush and I'll paint it and I'll just do it that way. Oh, there we go. It's been hours already. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. Oh, how frustrating. I really didn't expect stencils to So it's day two or three, I can't remember which. I'm exhausted because the stencil took a lot more time than what I thought it was gonna take. So we are finally getting down to the trim. So I've painted the trim and I've got a little helper here who's gonna help me and he's going to spread the liquid nails. Why did you take it out, sweet?
and we are done. Oh, you have no idea how good it feels to be done. Well, I'm not totally done. I still have to put some artwork on the walls and get a new faucet. But you know what? Those things come with time. Don't feel like you got to do everything in like one week. If you want details about this project, you can find me at thriftdiving.com. If you enjoyed this project, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I'm always doing stuff like this, decorating on a budget. So find me next time and I'll see you then. Bye. I think it's bigger, although I can reach out and touch. <laughs> I can still reach out and touch the wall.